Welcome back to my holiday STEM challenge series. My name is Brooke Brown from Teach Outside the Box and today I'm sharing all of my favorite Thanksgiving STEM challenges with you. Keep in mind these challenges are going to be very low prep for you using minimal materials you already have in your classroom, perfect for very busy times of year for not only us, but for our students. These challenges are also going to be appropriate for kindergarten all the way through fifth grade. They are very easy to differentiate with different resources that I offer you, as well as differentiated student recording sheets. These are gonna be perfect for your party days, for STEM Fridays, taking 45 minutes to an hour per week for each of these challenges. These are gonna be great to overlap all different kinds of engineering, science, and math standards, so you're really gonna be getting a lot of bang for your buck with these challenges. So today I'm sharing my favorite Thanksgiving STEM challenge from this particular pack, and it is called the Dinner Table Challenge. And what I love about this challenge is that I can do it with my kindergartners using just the basics and the parts of a dinner table, and then I can extend it all the way up through my upper grade kids, adding in that area and perimeter and more extensive measurement pieces when it comes to the surface of their tables. So just like all of my STEM challenges, this particular challenge follows the engineering design process, beginning with asking a question, posing a real world problem, imagining solutions, planning and drawing blueprints with their groups, creating, testing and improving their designs, and then reflecting and presenting at the very end together as a whole class. So for this particular challenge for dinner table, your family prepared too much food for Thanksgiving and you are going to construct a dinner table that will hold the most amounts of Thanksgiving dishes without overlapping. So again, with my little ones, I'm going to keep it very simple with a very simple table design. These are the materials you need. All the materials you already have in your own classroom, you can prep and throw this one together last minute. And it is also perfect for that short week that's leading up to Thanksgiving break. So I always begin by sharing real world examples of our structure with our students. So we talk about different types of tables, the most important parts of the tables, the legs and the surface. And we talk about what is similar and different in different table designs. We also talk about important features of tables, ones that may be at their home. We point out real world examples of tables in the classroom so that they can make connections there. And then for the kids that are ready to, we determine how to find perimeter and how to find area as it's related to our dinner table designs. So we also want to prime our students' background knowledge and really set them up to be successful by showing them some videos about their related structure. So this video is about different furniture makers as a career. Um, we discuss how tables are made and woodworking tools for kids, and then a song to help them remember the difference between area and perimeter. We also want to share key vocabulary words with our students before they begin the challenge so that they can use those academic vocabulary terms as they're creating. So we talk about the concepts of surface, balance, which is a big skill that your students are going to be practicing in this challenge, area and perimeter. I also have two different levels of student recording sheets for you to choose from where they're going to draw their pictures, they're going to measure the dimensions of their table, and they're gonna color the foods that their table holds. On the upper grade version, they're going to measure the area and perimeter, and they're gonna talk about what improvements they can make to their table design. This is a challenge that's going to require a lot of precision, a lot of patience, um, but it's also very fun when they finally achieve that successful design. So I'm gonna share with you a very simple model for creating a dinner table. As I mentioned with all of my other challenges, this is not something that I would model for my kids in advance. It is simply just a guide for you as a teacher to see one of the possible designs that your kids might come up with. Their creativity will blow you away every single time and that's something we really want to encourage in our kids. So I would not show them this model and I would also not show them this photo prior to beginning. For the dinner table challenge, you only need a few materials, which makes it really easy to prep. You're going to need some dominoes, some popsicle sticks, some food cutouts, and a ruler for your students to measure the dimensions of their table. Keep in mind that for the younger ones, you can also have them measure their table in linking cubes for a more non-standard unit of measurement. So I'm gonna start by building the legs of the table, and I am gonna start by doubling my dominoes up to give them a little bit more strength. This is something that your students will likely discover as they are trying different designs. Some of them may choose to make theirs higher or wider. So after we have the legs constructed, your students are going to begin constructing the surface of their table. They're gonna quickly discover that intersecting sticks in different designs is gonna give their table a little bit more strength. And I'm gonna fill in the surface of the table. 
Again, I can extend my table going this direction, making a little bit longer so that it holds a little bit more food. It's quite the test of patience and balance and perseverance. I do encourage my students to make sure that their table is lifted up off the ground and not built flat on the ground because we talk about how we have to have space for our legs underneath. So then your students can begin putting the food on top of their table, making sure that none of it is overlapping in any way. This challenge is very easy to extend and allow them to improve it in different ways and to combine their materials with different groups to make even bigger tables. They can also take their rulers to measure the different dimensions, the length and the width and the height. And then your upper grade kiddos will also convert that to area and perimeter. Also included in my Thanksgiving STEM pack are two other low prep simple challenges for your students. The first one is called Mayflower Ship. So your kids just need a little bit of foil, some pieces of styrofoam, and they're going to construct boats that will float on water. So this is a great introduction to buoyancy and balance. They're gonna test it with pennies and their pennies are gonna represent pilgrims on the Mayflower Ship. I also have a turkey hideout challenge, which is even a favorite with my big kids. So they're going to construct a hideout that will completely conceal the turkey. Upper grade kiddos can even conceal a family of turkeys or multiple turkeys. And all they use for this challenge is base 10 blocks, which I know we have a huge variety of in our classes. And the designs with your kids can really be creative. We also have a mini magnetic parade. This is a new addition to this particular pack. If you have not um, downloaded it in a while, this is one you're definitely going to want to grab. So your kids are going to create a mini balloon float using a water balloon and a binder clip. They are going to design a map that shows the parade route of the Macy's Day Parade, and then they are going to use the magnetic wand to navigate their balloon float through the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So I hope these challenges are getting you in the holiday spirit and excited to try some Thanksgiving activities with your kids. Keep in mind that all of the links to the materials that I've just shared with you are in the description below as well as the link to my STEM All Year Bundle. It is my favorite product I've ever created and one that has been loved by my students for many years. Keep watching soon for some more videos coming about my December STEM challenges.